It's really important that people understand what our health and safety system is about in this country and know how to apply that in a sensible and proportionate way. The main change over the last few years has been the rise of health and safety as a profession um, and I'm very proud of the contribution that Leibosch has made to that. We should regard health and safety as a great British success story. Yes, there's still too many people being killed or injured at work, but far fewer than uh, the position 10, 20, 30 or 40 years ago. The things that have made a huge difference has been in the UK, our framework of legislation. I mean, we're at the 40th anniversary now of the Health and Safety at Work Act, and there's no doubt that that's had a really important um, impact. But I also think the main change over the last few years has been the rise of health and safety as a profession. No one's trying to stop people uh, doing things. We just want people to do it right, do it safely, uh, and it should enable people to get on with doing whatever their work is. Some of the most successful health and safety endeavours are about helping people to do things which are actually in themselves quite hazardous, but to do them safely. And that's, that's what a qualified, competent health and safety professional does for their organisation. Businesses want to be well managed, they want to take a proportionate approach to health and safety. I think Nibosch's main achievements really are spreading our ethos of competent health and safety uh, advisors making a difference to their organisation rather more globally. It's about real risks and preventing people from getting killed and injured in the workplace. And nothing can be more important. So I think the work that Nibosch does is part of that success story, making sure that health and safety professionals are well qualified and well trained.